What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today the strike challenge is back and it's a little combination of updating you guys with my two-handed game because as you know the summer is upon us. The summer series is coming back, two-handed. Um, me, Jalen, some weeks, most weeks, uh, we'll be facing off and we're gonna try and mix up a little bit with a little year-end challenge here but that's beside the point. So this um, strike challenge is gonna be one-handed versus two-handed with the two new hustles coming out. So here, two-handed, um, if you're not watching Mondays with Mikey, you should be watching. They got to vote on which one of these two new hustles I drilled two-handed. And Chad chose the X-Ray. So here we got four and a half inch pin to PAP uh, by four with a um, three inch pin to center of grip for the hustle X-Ray. And the Hustle BRY, we've got a five and a half inch pin with a two buffer real tall up there. I'll be talking about both um, while I throw them, but you guys know the gist. If you guys are longtime viewers of the channel, five with each ball, switch back and forth, 10 total. So two sessions of five with each ball. Um, and there's an endless 10 frame. But I'm gonna start with the X-Ray. I don't know if that gives my two-handed game some kind of advantage, but it needs it. So here we go. Hopefully I don't throw any absolutely terrible shots, but I will, I'm sure. Ah, I like that one. So I've changed a couple things two-handed. Um, the biggest being that I'm now going down to the second knuckle. And for what reason? It's because I feel like I can get more forward. As you can see with that last shot, very forward. But I just started practicing two-handed again for about a week. So not particularly dialed like I normally am for the summer, but we're getting there, we're starting early. There we go. All right, one for two. Um, I'm glad that chat chose the X-Ray to be the two-handed ball after throwing them especially because, uh, so the X-Ray is the solid that comes at a 4,000 grit finish. It obviously looks a little bit shiny because I have actually practiced with uh, both of these balls before throwing them. So very uncharacteristic of a ball review, quote unquote for me, but it is what it is. Um, but this one is significantly smoother, it seems like, than the, um, the BRY. With it being a full solid, as opposed to a two-part pearl. Oh, that's a lot of rotation. There is not much of a reason that the BRY shouldn't win. Um, I'll be happy if I get to 50% with the X-Ray, just the two anti game. I just haven't, one, changing that, that grip style is a big change, but I think it's a good one. And two, I'm just able to play a lot straighter with the BRY. Which for that ball type and it being a fresh house shot here, um, it's definitely got the advantage. Here we go, just try and make a better one. That's a better one. Oh. I say it was a better one, the release was much better, just a little steep. I probably should have threw more warm up shots two handed, but I didn't. Overall, I took more warm up shots than normal, more than the normal seven or eight. I took about 12 or 13 because I was fielding. Um, you know, especially elderly today, so. All right, we're one for four, I believe. One more shot of the x-ray. And then in comes the massacre with the BRY. No, too forward again. Ugh. All right, well. 
we'll get there. But that's one for five with the x-ray. Don't let this be any um, indictment on the ball. I actually think that ball is very useful. But this one here, again, if you've been watching the channel for some time, you know that the six inch pin IQ Ruby has been very good for me here and at a lot of higher friction houses. So this is what I'm kind of trying to get out of this ball. As you can see, kind of that patented hustle reaction, right? Clean through the front, very stable. And even though this one is a two-part pearl, one part solid, shiny, um, still quite rolly off it, which is what I was looking for. Um, not quite the same as my IQ Ruby. I think I need to do a little surface squeaking with it. Um, I just think the RG being a little lower on the IQ helps it read the middle of the lane a little bit better. So probably going to mess with the surface on this one because I really want to throw it in tournaments and such. So one for one. Here we go. Oh, overhit it. And that's the thing. Overhit it and it's just got that stability, right? Because it's 253030, not a lot of diff, especially with a five and a half inch pin. It's sliding down there pretty good. And if you've watched a decent amount of videos, you know Holly Lane's high friction. I'm standing pretty far right. Relative to, you know, the rest of my life. And that one held, so. Oh, stuck. Stuck, overhit it. And that was pretty cool. So I think this one's gonna make it into the bag. Um, definitely a step below, like for me, when I use Revenant, my pin down Revenant, pin down Exponent Pearl, balls like that. <clears throat> this is gonna be for when the lanes are really dry or for house shots when I wanna go really straight like this. See, kind of those misses is what I don't get with other, you know, pretty much higher performance balls, especially here. Oh, stuck again. It's a hustle, guys. It's not gonna steer you wrong. I do think that the x-ray is significantly smoother though, so um, if you're someone who is a much higher rev rate, a little lower ball speed, hustles are your way to go. Either the RIP M&M, so the RIP is the shiny solid, the M&M, shiny pearl, BRY, your shiny hybrid now, and the x-ray solid with 4,000 grit, so think hustle PBR. It's a massacre, I'm telling you. One more, and then we go back to throwing two handed. It's probably the best one yet. Five for five. This ball's the one that's got the chance to, um, you know, do the perfecto. And then I'll have to go into the endless 10th frame and keep throwing. But five to one at the turn. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat, because my hair has just not been cooperating for the last week and a half. Need to get it chopped off. I'm gonna cut it. Not like Darren, not cut it off like Darren, but we're gonna do something with it. All right, I promise you I'm gonna throw better shots. See, better shots. There we go. Yeah, like I said, I'm really glad the chat picked the X-Ray for two-handed because I think the BRY might just be a hair too quick for what I want it, uh, two-handed. As you know, I'm a little more rev rate inclined, two-handed. Don't throw it quite as hard. I can't soften my hand up 
two-handed, just, you know, not that guy yet. But this one should be very useful at the summer series. <sighs> Higher friction surfaces, not a lot of uh, volume. So this one should be good. A little left. We're dialing in now. Legs are working. Getting the feel. Here we go. Three for seven. Like I said, if I can get to 50%, call that a win. I do get a little nervous pulling two-handed on the camera as well, so it's you guys' fault that I throw it bad. Oh, that was still strike though. That's just not good. But that, hap that miss happens less when I'm going second knuckle than first knuckle. Personal thing, personal preference. Um, you know, I'm not telling you to go second knuckle. I'm definitely not the authority to tell you what to do two-handed. But I know Belmo goes second knuckle. But like everybody else goes first knuckle now. But what are we, four for eight? Oh, slow and right hook. Ah, left the one and a half, two with two, eight, ten. No, one and a half, four, eight, ten. You guys can't see the scoreboard, but it literally reads nine out. Strike, 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 strike. Six count. We just threw an eight bagger with the hustles. Switch it from one to two handed. I think everybody in their lifetime who's not, you know, brand agnostic, is that the word, to other brands other than SPI, should throw a hustle at least once in their lifetime. Especially if you bowl on house shots and you're even the little bit slightest, most reverie inclined. It just makes house shots so much easier. to get to 50% in the endless tent. Oh! In theory, the hustle still has a chance. The x-ray, I mean, they're both hustles. X-ray has a chance, because we're at five for 10, endless 10 frame here. Didn't think we were gonna get to here, but your boy's dialing in a little bit. By the way, if you like this polo, check out Apparel EFX. EFX.co, link is down in the description. Use promo code MITA or CHVI for 10% off at checkout. And every Friday, it seems like there's a flash sale. So follow EFX2014 on Instagram and be on the lookout on Fridays. But here we go, endless 10 frame. It's got a chance. X-Ray's putting up a fight now. I don't think it's gonna win, right? This is a little David, David and Goliath situation. I am very comfortable with that BRY right now. And I will say, I normally don't say I like balls or I don't like balls. I like this ball. I like the BRY. It's giving me what I was looking for. Stability through the front part of the lane and not too jumpy in the back. Is it better than that IQ Ruby with the six inch pin? remains to be seen, but I'm gonna take it to a tournament this weekend. And if they're dry enough, I'm gonna use it. Here we go, we're at six. Six for 11. That's also got a chance. Oh! Six for 12, we got to 50%, which is not bad. So we get to six with the X-ray, here we go. Hustle BRY needs two to win in five shots or the endless 10th frame. Don't see that being an issue. Close the door early. Read. Oh. Six for six. Didn't hit it quite as hard as I wanted to. 
but it's all right because it's half shot. If you feel like you struggle controlling the break point when you're bowling league on house shots, just throw a different ball. I could throw a much different ball. I could throw, let's say, an attention star. Fantastic ball. I think it's probably one of the balls of the year so far. I could throw that right now, and I would look like a fool because I just wouldn't be able to control the front part of the lane as well as with this ball. As you've seen, I haven't thrown the greatest shots in the world, and they've all struck. There we go. Oh. Just enough transition from the X-ray to make it not read as well on the back. But six for seven, not bad. One more to shut the door. I don't see that being an issue unless I keep threatening the 710. And if you notice, if you watch me a lot bowl, if you watch me bowl a lot, yes, I am trying to spin it a little bit. Kind of working on different tools now that I'm not on the tour. This is not a tour friendly tool, but I don't bowl on the tour anymore. So working on different things, try and just be a slightly different bowler, but this rack is terrible. But I'm gonna strike anyways. Oh, I told you that rack is awful. Now this is getting a little scary, right? It's six for eight, I got two more shots. Is the BRY gonna choke? Since it's definitely not me, right? I am the equalizing factor between the two balls. So it's all ball, not me, right? It's all the ball's fault. But let's see if we can touch it just a hair more at the bottom to get it to read. There we go. Using a little bit of tilt to get the slide through the front part of the lane. The ball has also helped me out. Five and a half inch pin on a 30 diff ball. It's gonna go down the lane. And I tell you why these are the best value balls you can buy. Along with a 30 diff and a low performance price, they've got not very high RG, which helps it read in the middle part of the lane. This is the best bang for your buck ball. But here we go, last shot. So that's eight for 10, eight for 10. And this 10th frame, initiated. This video about to be long, we can go forever. I'm hungry, haven't eaten lunch. Didn't really eat breakfast. That's a testament to things I do for you guys, right? It's about 11.30. Haven't eaten all day, but I film for you guys on empty stomach. Oh, over, hit the daylights out of that. And that's the difference. You match up, I'm getting stability and ease through the front part of the lane. I can miss it like that, and it still holds line. It's all about ball reaction, folks. I'm gonna move left and throw one from left for you. Just for S's and G's, if you know what that means. Cool, if you don't, oh well. So we're moving. This is 10 left. Obviously, you gotta throw it softer. This ball might just go forever and ever and ever and keep striking. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoy this video. Hit that like, comment, subscribe button. And if you guys keep liking and subscribing and liking and subscribing and commenting, I'm gonna keep striking. This video might be an hour long, who knows? Whoa, never mind. And that is me not being sharp, not bowling every week, not being on tour, 
sitting my butt in the pro shop all the time throwing shots like that but anyways guys again thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys learned a little something about the two new additions to the hustle line coming out hp1 rotor grip ball best bang for your buck come into tv bone supply come see me i'm out of breath the pre-order one today comes out april 19th and let me drill one for you and hopefully i will see you guys in the next video peace